Another 2-0 team after week one is 100 Thieves. Again, they didn't have the most difficult schedule in week one, but I mean, they did beat CLG in day two, and that's obviously what people are picking as a playoff team. I think they're going to go deep in playoffs, but 100 Thieves look really solid. So how'd they beat CLG? Camp the bottom lane. Uh, some level three ganks here uh, with Meteos coming in just to get this Ezreal Brahma ahead and kind of take away from that Caitlyn dominance in lane. You had teleports from Ryu coming in and that pressure early on in that bottom lane allowed them to grab a couple of dragons early on. Eventually they're able to knock down that bottom tier turret. So they were just playing through that bottom lane early on. Meteos giving it all that attention. And then uh, one of the big changing points in this game is Stixay walking forward right into a Malzahar ult with no QSS. Good night. Stopwatch is not going to be enough for them. And that was, that was the main one of the main team fights that really pushed it into 100 Thieves' advantage. They're able to secure a Baron off of that. But I mean, the pressure bottom lane, Meteos sat there for the majority of the early game, and Ryu and Someday still held their own. Someday absolutely destroyed Darshan in that matchup. And Ryu's a guy who I had a lot of question marks about heading into this season. And the first two games, he looked much more comfortable than he did in 2017 summer. He looked more like he did in spring and back on his time on H2K. And if he continues to play like this, then 100 Thieves is definitely going to be a team not only fighting for playoffs, but fighting to make some noise in the playoffs. Uh, so 2-0 start, exactly what Aframu and Co. would want after the first week. And he's probably feeling good about staying with 100 Thieves over CLG, who's 0-2. We'll get to them in a minute. But as I mentioned before, the Esports Network's Zorin was able to meet up with Aframu during week one of the NALCS series. And here's what he had to say about joining that 100 Thieves squad. And what is it about 100 Thieves in particular that kind of caught your attention or appealed to you specifically? I think it was uh, Nate Chat mostly. When he uh, contacted me, we set up a meeting. He was super passionate, very accommodating, uh, one of the best for his players, probably because of his experience as being a player when he used to play COD back in the day. So it just translates over. Really liked that aspect. And then the three players they had already signed were Ryu, Someday, and Medios. Played with Medios before in All-Stars, really loved his play style. And I think uh, jungle support synergy is very important. Medios is a very easy guy to get along with and definitely, you know, very blunt and honest with his opinion. So it definitely helps a lot for uh, team cohesion. And I do think our team is going to do very well. <laughs> How much would you say personality factored into that decision for you? I mean, like in terms of both uh, inside and outside of the game. For players? Yeah. Uh, I think personality mattered a lot. Uh, I don't really want, wasn't really looking for a team where I didn't think I would be able to, you know, play with those kind of players or sorry, play with players who didn't value team oriented stuff, but also talked to Prolly, our coach, and he was definitely, you know, all about it. And all the players as well were all about it. Well, obviously, Afro, a lot of thought going into why he joined 100 Thieves. And right now, it looks like a pretty solid decision. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more esports content.